this better work. If I film this entire video and it ends up being a fail, I'm gonna be so disappointed. And I think to myself, what a wonderful Welcome or welcome back to Little ZG. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make chocolate chip cookies. So basically, let's get started. First step you're going to need is a large bowl. I'm just using this large glass bowl. Now, actually, I just realized you don't need this yet. You're going to take one and a half sticks of butter and you're going to melt this in the microwave. While your microwave is melting your butter, you're going to take your large bowl and you are going to add half a cup of regular white sugar three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and just whisk these two sugars together. Okay, so my butter melted, it kind of overflowed in the microwave. I'm just gonna pour it into my sugar mixture. Ow, the bowl's really hot. And now you're just gonna whisk this up. Okay, so now when it's like combined to a really weird texture, like a lumpy, brown buttery mess so here i have one full egg and then one egg yolk that's what the um recipe calls for it's kind of strange but we're gonna do that so one egg and one yolk now once you have that like a smooth now it's gonna be more like yellowy winston please every i swear every time i try to film a cooking video Winston, our bird, well, my brother's bird, needs to scream, and I don't know why. Also, why is my head shiny? Okay, so now you're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and you guessed it, just whisk that all. You're going to set this aside, and you're going to take flour. I have it right here. It's measured out, and it is two and a quarter cups. Of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoon of, of cornstarch, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, so now when you have this, you're gonna mix it. I don't know why I chose <laughs> the smallest dish to do this in. <gasps> oh my gosh, Grace! The Christmas tree blew down on Cali. It's it's a big storm outside, like really windy, and we have a stray cat in a house and we have little Christmas trees up there and the one fell on top of her and she just ran away. You're gonna take your bowl and take the whisk out because it'll just be in the way. And this is totally optional, but I like to, to sift my flour mixture. And see for proof, these are the little pieces that would be in our cookie right now. Now take your spatula and just mix it up. I mean, all you can do is just keep mixing. I'll be back when it looks a little bit better. So I'm back, that didn't actually take too long and now we have a nice cookie dough. And now is the fun part. So the recipe that I'm using calls for one and a quarter cup of chocolate chips. I'm going to be using the Trader Joe's peppermint flavored baking chips. I have it in here. I don't have much, to be honest. I think I'm going to add some others too. Okay, so since I only have one cup of this, I'm going to take some of the. Sorry, did that sound? The Trader Joe's 72% dark chocolate chunk. And I'm just going to add a few of those. But, anyways, I'm going to use like this much. So that is one a little bit more than one cup and now we're going to add that into here and then just mix these in okay so i have it all mixed and to be honest it looks really good um don't do this if you don't want to get salmonella poisoning but try the batter do it at your own risk but Mmm, that is so good. Okay, now is the hardest part is waiting for these to chill. So you're gonna cover them in plastic wrap. Add it sneaky thought. Um, since it's a Saturday right now and we might be doing something today, so I don't have much time to film this and cook these. So, do you think I should try this? Putting it into the freezer for 30 minutes instead of putting it in the fridge for an hour. Should I try it? Let's do it. So I'm gonna the freezer. The only problem is I don't know if I'll be able to find room in here. 
for this. If I can, then I will. Okay. Does that look like there's any room? No, but we're gonna try. Okay, so I got like a little bit of room here. I'm gonna see if it fits. Please fit. Yes, it fits. Okay, so that is done. You cannot see my head. I'm gonna let that sit in the freezer for Winston! Really? Stop. I'm gonna let those sit in the freezer for 30 minutes and we're gonna see, we're gonna check them and see. Um, it looks cool enough. So, um, I've prepared my baking sheets. I have two of them and I've lined them with um, silicone baking paper, silicone baking something. Now I'm gonna preheat your oven to 325, so I'm gonna do that right now. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take two um, tablespoons, I think these are tablespoons, they're like the bigger spoons, and you're going to just take a scoop. Oh wait, we don't need to. Never mind. Take one and scoop it and then roll it into a ball and then just place it on your sheet. You might want to get like a random chocolate chip from the batter and just stick it on the top. There's not one. Okay, so the recipe said it yields about 20 large cookies. And I ended up with 15 smaller cookies. Like, these are a relatively normal size. I have 15 on one tray, and now this is 15 on the other, and I still have like two more cookies left. So I'm getting up to like 32 cookies. Like, what? Okay, so now I have my cookies ready, and I realize this is way too many cookies for one pan. And you're not supposed to do that, but I don't. I feel like doing four trays, so. We're gonna put these in for, into the oven, which is not preheated yet, but when it reaches 325, we're gonna put them in for 12 minutes. The original recipe is from Sally's Baking Addiction. So, if you wanna check it out, it's called the Chewy Chocolate Chip Cookies. Here in the side of the kitchen, Grace is making a salad. If you want to see a video, if you want to see a video or another healthy, delicious salad kind of thing, this is a different kind, and it's really good. Yeah. A little sneak peek. That's the ingredients. Not that pear. Brand onions, but we don't have. Okay, so the cookies came out of the oven. They smell so good, like peppermint, chocolate. So the cookie's cooled, and now I'm gonna eat one. Um, she already bit that. I did not. I hate doing taste tests. Why don't you actually talk? Hey, they're really good. Um, they yeah. Taste they, they taste no, good. they're not. Shh, they're not like cookie. Never make. Stop making noise, please. <laughs> they're. <laughs> They don't have the texture of like chewy cookies. They're almost like cakey, mm -hmm. really? but they're yes. really good. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up. Bye.